Once the file is finished downloading, find it in your browser ready for extraction. Please note that the file name may be different to that on this video. Then right click the file and from the pop-up menu choose Extract All. Choose where you want the files to be extracted and then click Extract. This could take a minute or two. Once the extraction is finished you'll be left with a folder that contains the required files. If you go into this folder, copy them and then paste them to your SD card. The SD card will now have three files on it, recovery.image, factory update parameter and the Android firmware package zip file. Remember that the zip file may have a different file name to that shown on this video. Turn the SD card upside down and insert it into the SD slot on the side of the quad core. The reset button is located inside the AV hole. Using a jeweler's screwdriver or a matchstick, place it into the hole until you feel a click. Then holding the button down, insert the power cord. Keep the reset button pressed down until the screen shows the Droid Player logo followed by the Android stood up with the progress bar below it. It's now safe to let go of the reset button. The install will take a couple of minutes before rebooting and showing you the Droid Player logo again, followed by the Mbox logo. Finally, you'll be met with a welcome screen where you can enter the settings. From here, click Next and Next again. You're then met with the display screen properties. If you click down or up on your remote, you can adjust the screen size until you're met with the white lines around the edge of the display. Then click Next and you're onto the network settings. You can enable Ethernet or enable Wi-Fi from this screen. Ticking the Wi-Fi box will give you a list of the available Wi-Fi points within your surrounding area. So just scroll down, choose the Wi-Fi network you want to join, and then click on Input Password and a keyboard will appear at the bottom. You can use your remote to enter your password. Then just click Finish and you'll be met with a launcher screen. Scroll down and choose Media Box Launcher and then choose Always. And that's it. You've just installed the latest Android software and you're back with your welcome screen. Now use our installer app to install XBMC.